so now draw a chart for this five hardware interrupt with its specific address location in main memory so let's draw here is the interrupt here is a vector location or you may say call location call location so first is a trap or you may say rst 4.5 so what is the trap rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and in tier in ti or you may say vector location uh, memory and specific ad address location location or the call location so i have written here intra is it right is, is it any call or is it any specified address location for this intra no there is no specified address location for this intra because it is a non vector interrupt so that's why no specific address location no specific address location so now we have the four so there is a two way one you can just remember the chart i i will write all the uh, specific address location you can remember the chart another so the second way which is you can calculate the particular address location for this particular interrupt you can calculate the particular address location for this particular interrupt and you can put the value into that chart so let's first i am just going to write all the value then we will calculate it again and we will just match it whether we have we were right or wrong so let's first i am just writing here 7.5 6.5 which is for 7.5 for trap it's a 0 0 h for 7.5 it will be 0 0 3c for 6.5 it will be 0 0 3 4 and for 5.5 it will be 0 0 2 c so this is a chart and this is a vector as you can see these are the vector interrupt and according they are vector location specific location now my next question that i have told you we can remember the chart or we can calculate this particular vector locations then how do we calculate the specific vector location so as you can see there is a rst let's take this one this one trap rst 4.5 rst 4.5 as you can see this is a hex number so what you need to do so let's take rst n rst n so how will you cal calculate it you will just multiply with 8 n into 8 it is a decimal one it will be a decimal one convert in into a hexagonal one we will convert it into the hexagonal one and put the value into the chart put the value into the chart so let me take an example here example suppose we have taken rst 5.5 rst 5.5 here n is 5.5 as you can see here that means what we will do first we will multiply n which is 5.5 into 8 it is a binary one then what will be the value 540 and 44 i think 44 will be the value 44 will be the value it is a binary now let's convert it into hexadecimal one 
16. How will you convert it? 4, 4 divided by 16. It's a 2, 32, 1, 12. That means 12 in hexadecimal, you can write it C. I think 10 A, 11 B and 12 is C. C. So then what will be the thing? This digit will be the reminder. Reminder will be go first and then it will be the 2. Then it will be 2 C. 2 C. Then what will be the address? As we know, these are the 16 bit. Here we have find it 8 bit. So the rest of the, the last 8 bit will be the 0 0. So just we need to put 0 0 2 C. For, for what? For RST 5.5. The address location is 002C. Is it? 002C. That you can see over here. So that's the way you need to calculate. So all the RST, all the RST which are uh, available in 8085 microprocessor, RST interrupt like this, 4 interrupt, as well as the 8 software interrupt. You can calculate or you can find the any specific memory location for this 4 hardware interrupt as well as the 8 software interrupt in that way. First you will make multiply with 8 then you will convert it then that number will be the binary one. You will convert that number into the hexagonal one then hexadecimal sorry so hexadecimal one and then we will put the value here. Just now you will try for the RST 7.5. RST 7.5. Just do here. RST 7.5. 7.5 into 8 will be 56 plus 4 will be 60. And 60 is in a binary. So now convert it in hexadecimal. Now convert it into hexadecimal. How will you convert it? 56 into 16. It's a 3. 48. That means 8. That means 8. Is it 8? Is it 8? 3, 8. Sorry, 50 is not a 56. It's a 60. It's a 60. It will be 12. It will be 12. And 12 is C. In hexadecimal, it will be C. And there is a 3, then the remainder will go first, remainder will go first and then 3, 3C, three as it is a 16 bit number, then we will write it as, this is a 8 bit, but we convert it into the 16 bit, first 2 bit is 0, 0 and then 3C, it's a 16, as you can see, once RST 7.5 is also 3C. So that were the process that you can in that process you can calculate the any software and hardware vector memory location. So that was the process. So in our so now I am just going to write the eight software interrupt and regarding their hex code as well as their specific vector location i will just write the chart whole chart and we and i will just produce to you so let's erase this part first so as you can see here this is a software interrupt and according to their hex code and the call, call location that you can see over here as uh, this is rst0 to rst7 and they are different uh, memory location in uh, there are different address location in memory to calculate the particular location regarding their software interrupt how will we calculate so let's take this first one rst1 so 1 into n is 1 here n equals to 1 here so a 1 into 8 will be here that will be 8 it is a 10 in a decimal number you need to convert n into hexadecimal number so 16 divided by 8 that would be 0 and the remainder also be the 818 8. the remainder will also be the 8 in a simple way just it will be the simple 8 here and 0 will be here if you need to convert it in 16 bit there will be 0, 0, 0, 008 which is 16 let's comes to rst 4 take the rst 4 this one so n equals to 4 here 
so 4 into 8 here that is 10 it's 32 it's a 10 here now let's comes to just convert it into hexadecimal so 16 divided by 32 will be 2 and the 32 is 0 then we first will go to the 0 remainder part I have told you 0 is a reminder then 2 if we need to convert that one into 16 bit then 0 0 2 0 so that is a conversion that you can see here 4 is 0 0 2 0 and another was 0 0 0 8 so in that way you can calculate the address location from this particular RST signal one thing that I haven't told you that you can see here if you look not if you will notice here then you will find the difference between two the difference between two address location this one and this one is 8 bit the difference between two two uh, two back to back address location is 8 bit it's the first one it's the second one 0, 0, 2, 2, 8. If you will take 0028, then what will be 0029, then 002, 00, what will be the thing? 0029, then 00A will be happen. Then 00 in that way, 0029, 0028, 2A. First one was 0028, 002B, 00. 00 to c 002d 002e 002f 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this was is 8 so 8 location it it consume 8 bit location 8 bit or 1 byte memory location that means each and every each and every whether it could be, either it could be the uh, hardware RST, hardware interrupt or it could be the uh, software interrupt that is you can see here RST, RST3 so all the vector interrupt hardware or the software all vector interrupt has its own address location in memory and all vector interrupt consume 8 bit or 1 byte at memory address memory location memory location in the main memory 8 bit memory location it consume 8 bit memory location into the main memory that you can see over here so if you start to find the difference between these two you will find that 8 bit in that way 8 bit and between these two it will be 16 bit 16 bit so that is the way that is the sum so that are the that are the some property about the software interrupt and all are the interrupt in our coming session we will talk about the process how does an non vector interrupt execute in 8085 microprocessor we will discuss it in our coming session and it is very important for our interrupt uh, session or interrupt chapter